So let's go start with our video for our course project. Uh, so we are going to, I'm going to do multiple videos. So you go to the video that you need to follow. You don't have to, do, fo you know, listen to a 40 minutes, two hours video. So the first thing we're going to do is look at what kind of data set is this? So this is a just a retail store uh, data set. Uh, they have information about the customers, preference, uh, frequency, uh, product analysis, who is the top seller, and so forth. So all of this is in Kaggle. I'll put the, the link to the data set if you want to look to see what other people had done. However, this is done in uh, R and pandas so uh, more scientific kind of data science kind of thing not so much data engineering and that's what it took me seven hours to figure it out the errors in the data type okay so i'm going to open this global superstore that's this is the data set and the first thing that you need to do before anything before the starting a container is to look at the data types right Okay, so this is a CSV, and my error was that I converted this to uh, the Excel 97-2003, and I could not format it. See, this is general. It's supposed to be number. I did not format it. This is supposed to be number like this. See? Uh, number. Yeah. And this is supposed to be also number not a decimal and so forth so when we get here to the dates and that's the biggest problems that i had the dates were formatted formatted in different formats i went to the document i said the formatting for uh the options i did format with uh, the field i did all kind with uh, data all kinds of formatted and I formatted in the document, but when you uploaded the document, it did not work. So, that was uh, really hard to kind of um, check. This is, for example, is general, supposed to be money. Okay, so this is the data set. So, another thing. My computer, I'll do with a full set. This is 51,000 rows of, of 51, 290 rows of information. So I'm here in my uh, desktop now. My, com my um, laptop did not handle it. I could not upload it. There was no way. Crash it. It took me seven hours to troubleshoot. So I'm here in my desktop and I also... I have this file, I'm going to put both of them, I reduce it. So it's always good to troubleshoot everything in with, so you can see here. That has not, doesn't matter how you want to format this, it does not take the formatting, it just doesn't. Save doesn't take the formatting, okay. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is. <clears throat> And I'm going to upload. First, let's go back here to the old uh, Microsoft SQL Server Manager Studio. <coughs> I'm going to create a new repository, a new container, a new database. It's going to be global retail DW. So whatever name that you want to call it, make sure that you call it a DW. I have the DW there and give a sister administrator uh, use use privileges. Okay. And now here I have my container. So the next thing is to up upload the raw data. And let's go try to do this. So here's my container and I'm going to upload that file only with the 20 rows because I need to troubleshoot this first. So we're going to import a flat file because when I try, so I already troubleshoot this for, for you, there was no way to upload the Excel without errors. And I'll show you a video only about the errors. I'll do 
that video. So I'm going to upload the CSV file. Next. Here is the rows. You see that all of that is there. So once you troubleshoot this, right, you are more likely to succeed with a bigger one. Okay. So here is the thing. Source ID is an int, not a small int. Or ID. So the shipping, and that's correct. Date, customer ID. Uh, what is product category? So, okay. Here I'm going to do NVAR charge max. Discount sales. Quantity is going to be an int. Uh, shipping cost auto pri shipping cost auto priority. Kind of changing the uh, region, market, uh, country, postal, state, city, segment. Uh, I know one of them is not enough. Oh, let me see category. Uh, you know what? Sometimes it's just our uh, product name. Let's go change it for. And for chart max, uh, priority, and for chart float. Mm, profit is money, discount, int, uh, is sales is float. Sales is, let's see, money. Postal code is not an int. Is an int. I'm going to do the postal code because some postal codes uh, don't have anything. That I put zero. I change it. Uh, let's see if it works. If it's not, it'll tell me. And I work. So let's go refresh. Open the tables. Here is my database. My data. I'm going to look at the now is the time of the true, right? Let's see. Uh, dates. The order it's upload is dates. Customer the same day. Market postal code. Uh, let's say product name. Sales is good. Discount. Uh, the discount didn't come out too good because I was supposed to change it. So make sure that you change that when you. Uh, shipping cost. I sh didn't I put shipping cost as money? Profit. Okay. So the data is there. Um, it's good. So I'm going to close this up and change this to always raw data. All right. So that's the first part of your video.